Hey you guys, Bubba Sawyer here, coming at you again with a video. In my previous videos, I told you about a package that was coming in the mail. Well, you guessed it, he's sitting right here in front of you, Leatherface himself. This is the 7 to 8 inch uh, Pretty Woman Leatherface figure by NECA. Uh, he's a, a, a Mezco uh, style figure, or a uh, whatever they call it. Those uh, top figures, you know, that's got the clothes. Kind of looks like those figures from Robot Chicken. Uh, excuse the band-aid on my hand there. Uh, he don't want to sit down too well on this uh, corner ledge. But as you see here, he has his uh, uh, necktie. You know, the shirt and all. He has a belly and all that in there. Good stuff. You can take his clothes off, but uh, that's not, not nothing I'm going to be taking off because... You know, it's probably hard to get back on and all that. He's fully articulated. You know, it's got all the bar joints and the, the anklets. Uh, one disappointment is it doesn't have the full boot. Looks like he's wearing uh, one of those little shoes that the, the pirates wear. Whatever, but uh, you know, his pant legs are down. That's not a big issue. But I wish they would have sculpted that in. I guess you could go back if you wanted to with some putty and fill that in and, you know. But, anyway, pants covering. You know, he's fully weathered. Sorry, he's got a little bit of dust on him here from where he's been dropped in the floor and tracted lint on him. But there's the sculpt. Uh, let me get it focused. That's the, the pretty woman sculpt there. You can't, he doesn't have any eyes, which I don't know why they didn't. You know, paint some in. I guess you could go back later if you wanted to put some in there. Uh, I know some of the Jason figures have the... Jason Voorhees figures have the eyes in there. But uh, he doesn't even have any mouth either. It's just kind of a whole uh, black... There are no teeth or nothing. But he's got the the leather lace, you know, around the side. The genuine figure. And we're going to get at you with a uh, his other uh, sorts and bits here. Let's focus the camera. He's got a chainsaw here. Pretty much like they saw up here. You know. It's pretty spot on as far as the gas tank and the, the back handle. See the, the gas tank is kind of uh, zoom in here. Kind of rounded. Kind of as to where the 245 isn't. The, the back handle isn't you know that accurate. But uh. You know, the figure itself is good. They got one coming out. It's supposed to have the accurate saw, but I'm going to check into that and see if that saw will work with this figure. It's a, uh, you know, pretty good sized uh, saw here. You know, I got a quarter here, a Texas quarter on my uh, photo uh, of part two here. It's in a photo frame. Uh, up against it, that's about the size of it. And it also comes with a hammer. Which is the one in the movie wasn't silver and didn't have a wooden handle. But it's nice for Leatherface to have a, a little uh, original hammer here. You know, somebody's come up with as an extra piece. Kind of zoom in out there where you can see. And, uh, you know, we're going to show you. See the saw here. You pull these pieces. See, and they snap out. You know, where you can slide his hands in there because his hands doesn't open up unfortunately which they could have made him where they would open up but we're going to display him with the saw same as the uh handle here it pops off little uh grommets hose here but we're going to pose him with the, the chainsaw and a pose and then i'll get back at you i'm back guys uh here he is posed in his iconic ending scene where he's swinging the chainsaw around you know, he <laughs> does the weird, uh, whatever it is he does. Uh, it's kind of, you go, you got to get his uh, feet posed just right. Sorry, guys. It's it's all about getting him balanced just right. You know, you have to work with his body, you know, to get him setting up right. You have to move his, you know, his uh, swivel waist and his hands just right. Get him to stand up, which I got his legs spread apart to do like that iconic, like, ending pose or whatever he does you know the saw above his head you can pose this figure in any way you know like i said you pop the pieces out the handlebar in the back and slide it through the hands yeah i can also hold the hammer here uh 
I got this old style uh McFarlane Toys leather face. Here he is next to it. The one you can uh get the smaller one that's got the uh leather face back stand here. But uh you know that's about what he looks like. The saw that comes with this uh McFarlane one will fit this uh leather face here. You can see on my Facebook I've got him posed with it. And one thing I like about the McFarlane is it comes with this bloody bucket that's kind of overly sized. Which works perfect with this leather face. And I guess if you want to, you can use the McFarlane Toys hammer with it because they're fairly the same size. This hammer looks cool too. He can also hold it. But, uh, yeah guys, it, uh, this figure here is a nice figurine. Uh, if, if you will, I'm going to scoot Leatherface over here out of the way. Him and his little brother. And uh, we're going to look at this uh, back card, which I'm going to trim down the bottom part off and frame it. Uh, it says the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And it's got the, you can pause here and read the, uh, the you know, like in the beginning where it's got the black background with the yellow letters. And it tells about the five U's. Uh, the victims at uh, blah blah so and so Texas. Uh, so it's Travis County history. Uh, I guess that like the Travis County in the remake. I'm not sure if it's in the original or not, but uh, I don't really pay attention to the, the towns and whatnot. But here's a. Uh, I kind of wish they would use a screen uh, capture or a uh, movie still from the 40k anniversary black maria set that's uh behind all these clowns here but uh instead they use the picture of the figurine which i would kind of see why they would but uh you know it's got the homestead back there i'm not going to spend a whole lot of time here but you know i thought it was pretty cool and the other side's got this artwork here and got the uh signature of the artist down here nathan or uh nathan miller Milliner and yeah Nathan Milliner. I thought it was Nathan Miller, but the perfect artwork here uh, Character uh, I'm deciding on what to use, you know the that side or the other. I love both of them uh, They both look good. I might not uh, Frame it at all. It might leave it that way But you know, it's a pretty thick cardboard. I guess people throw these away, but I'm deciding I'm gonna keep it but anyway guys uh Post in the comments below and tell me what you think of this figurine. Uh, out of my rating of 10 stars, I wrote this a uh, uh, probably a 9 out of a 10. The saw could have been a little better. But the figurine itself is spot on. You know, you can look right at it and automatically tell it's Gunnar Hansen. You know, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, as always, the saw is family.